Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs sonic web studios specializes in custom web design app development social networking search engine optimization domain registration email marketing online stores and more since our birth we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show. Show, international award-winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by me and Molson Z has garnered great reviews and evil love and endorsed by how his love is including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Me and Molson Z available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Widener Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and Heard Worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for some great gift ideas for loved ones, family, and friends, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and a lot more. And, of course, throwbacks, tote pillows, and more. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for some great gift ideas. 
And for more great gift ideas, including T-shirts, as well as tank tops, as well as phone cases and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Me and Molson ZS store. And uh, also check out his great books as well, including Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Make sure you check it out and buy it today. And also support the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. Click on the Donate button. Also give generously on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific lady who is a singer, songwriter, and very multi-talented. I mean, her accomplishments are like a king's school. And so it's like, you know, trying to get through those is like trying to go through a roll call of everybody that's going on in the world here and um she's got a couple of albums and one of them is going to be ascending and the next one is going to be descending but i mean she just has ascending up and up and up and she's got uh, a few songs as well too and of course uh she was a semi-finalist on american idol and the lead singer for district 97 progressive rock group and she began a career at the age of four and um she has an amazing career she's been a lifelong chicagoan for quite some time live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in the windy city the very very multi-talented leslie hunt leslie good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. And what an introduction. I can't really live up to that, that but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. We, we know something too. It's like with the accomplishments you got, I don't know if I can live up to him. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, look at this. It's like you've been a semifinalist on American Idol. I'll probably get uh, booted before um, I walk on stage and Simon Cowell yeah. sees, sees me. It's like, you know, just hit the uh, buzzer before I get on. And your lead singer for <laughs> District 97. And um, you've had some amazing hits out there. You also had um, some albums like Sheep and you had uh, Takeover and Quartet and Hybrid Child and a lot more. And um, you're also on a solo career. You're also Ascending, which uh, the album's going to be coming it's, out. June it's 20- called Ascend. Ascend, okay. Ascending. Ah, yeah, and wait. Descend. That's okay. This is what happens when we have too much coffee. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So- so you got Ascend, which will be coming out June 25th, and then Descend, which will be in September. And you also got, um, you know, Wait For It, Your Hair Is On Fire, and From The Strange To A Stranger, and a lot of great tunes. And before we get into all that, tell us how I first got started, Leslie. Tell me what? Tell you what? Tell, tell us how you first got started. Okay. Well, as a songwriter, I got started in high school. Um, I got asked to join a band with my friends. And they were all writing. And so I thought I would take a stab at writing for the band. And I wrote some songs. And then I started writing for myself as a solo artist. Um, Early on, somebody named Jim Peterick, who is a very legendary songwriter. Oh, my God. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. And uh, he mentored me as a songwriter um, at the age of 15 throughout, um, uh, I guess, in Till my early 20s, he was still acting as a mentor, uh, both in the music industry and as a um, as a songwriting, I guess. I, I wrote a lot of my songs myself, but he would help me kind of arrange them and produce them. And uh, he really took me on um, at a young age. And then, uh, and then I had a variety of paths. I would just play a lot in different music clubs around Chicago. Uh, what, whoever would allow somebody who wasn't 21 yet <laughs> uh, perform and all the you Don't know like that <laughs> yeah I was like I'm I'm 19 can I play here and they were like sure so you know just some of the piano bars and you know downtown um and then I went to music school and uh went on American Idol mm-hmm. and ended up going really far even though I had not even seen the show wow. uh I had never seen the show and I, and I was just, I didn't really know what I was doing or what to do. <laughs> so every, <laughs> just everything like many I was doing, yeah, I was just, I was, I kept making it farther and farther and I was like, wow, okay, I guess this is working. Okay. And then, uh, and then I uh, joined district 97 after I got off the show, uh, which was um, kind of a curveball musically, but uh, yeah. So I, I've, I've been, you know, putting out solo records and, and then district 97 has, three studio albums and a bunch of live albums and we tour, you know, the world and, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, do a lot of stuff. And then I'm basically now kind of resurrecting myself as a solo artist. Um, I haven't put out an album since uh, 2012 Mm -hmm. or something like that. So it's been a while, um, but I was very inspired during the pandemic to uh, really kind of, you know, focus all my energy on, on this music and putting it out again. 
Wow, that's amazing. You talked about uh, yeah. having a curveball thrown at you when you joined District 97. It sounds like a great career move, but how to throw a curveball? It's, uh, it's more like a fastball that was just right down the middle. You hit out of the park. <laughs> yeah. I Well, okay. So the curveball I'm referring to, I guess, my sister uh, passed away. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. And then I, I never really thought I would join like a progressive rock metal band, mm -hmm. but she was such a big fan of metal. And when she passed away, I felt like I needed to create this alter ego of kind of like us combined. So like, she was just such a, uh, a like aggressive ballsy in your face, you know, person. And I just wanted to have a musical outlet to uh, keep that energy going. And and, uh, and it was a perfect, it was just the perfect timing because she died. And then I right away joined the band and it was just the perfect outlet for that grief and for um, just kind of keeping her legacy uh, very much a part of my life. So Wow. That was, mm -hmm. some, that was something. I mean, that's probably the most amazing story I've heard where it's like, you just happened to just, uh, just slide right in, you know, you know, mm -hmm. that, that thing too. And then getting back to American Idol as well too. And, uh, with oh, I can't. People. Oh, all of a sudden I couldn't hear you. Okay. Now I can. Okay. Don't you love this new technology? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's foolproof. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so like I said before, the uh, gremlins came in and took over. Uh, what was it like for you being up there with uh, Simon Cowell? And, um, you know, what was it like? Uh, it was a learning experience. It was a huge magnifying mirror right in my face to show me how I came across, what I was doing well, what I still needed to work on. Um, at the time I was on the show, I had never just sang on a stage with a mic in my hand. I was always playing the piano. Mm -hmm. And so when I was when, when I was on the show, you weren't allowed to play an instrument yet. Lo and behold, the year after I was on, they allowed people to start playing instruments. I think I would have probably made it a little further had I not felt so um, uncomfortable as just, um, I wasn't really a front man yet. Um, I, or front woman, I guess you're supposed to say. Anyway, mm -hmm. I wasn't really a front woman yet. And so I, I didn't really know how to own that stage. Um, I felt very uncomfortable. And, and Simon saw that. He said, you look very awkward. And I, was, I like, couldn't have agreed more. I felt so awkward. I felt like I had to sing well and look terrible or look great and sing horribly. <laughs> I didn't think mm -hmm. I could do both at the same time because it was like, it felt like I was too much to focus on. And now I've been doing that nonstop and I could I could like, you know, balance my checkbook in my mind and sing and perform <laughs> at the same time. It's all very easy now, but at Bal the time it was not. Balancing checkbook and singing. That is interesting. That's a new skill I'm about to take on these days. Balancing a checkbook <laughs> and singing, or in my case, balancing a checkbook and interviewing great guests like you. And um, I see what the red right check here. Uh, okay. I messed <laughs> up. Okay. <laughs> you got to carry the one. Don't forget. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carry the one over. Thank yeah. you for reminding mm -hmm. me. My wife used mm -hmm. to work at a bank and she always told me, carry over the one and make sure you double check everything. It says, okay. Yep. <laughs> right. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but right, exactly. I'm just saying it's very easy. Now. <laughs> but, but at the time it wasn't and, and it was good for me to know. Um, they were pretty brutal, but that's the show. That's why people watch, you know, because of that. People like to see, you know, we're not that far from like the culture of people that like to behead each other in the public square, you know? So, I mean, we're very, we're still very, um, <laughs> we're still a bit, a bit of a dark species as far, as far as it comes to just like, we like to watch people uh, being dragged through the dirt. I think a little bit. <laughs> I, I can think of a few shows that do that, but I'm sure it'll come to mind later as well too. But, um, mm -hmm. but, but of course you, you talked about, uh, you know, starting at an early age and was it one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing today? Hmm. Um, I would say when I first, when I, when I first performed for a group uh, for like a crowd of people, uh, I remember being really young and having a mic and there was a band behind me and I think it might've been my parents. It's kind of a foggy memory, but I remember singing and like feeling like I was nailing it. And then I was, and then I loved how people were like, wow. And like, I think I just needed that wow. And I was like, I, this is right for me. This is my, this is, this is for me. And so I had a very, very sickly childhood. I was in my bedroom 
very sick with a high fever. I had oh, wow. loop. I had lupus. Um, I was diagnosed with lupus when I was six and was very sick for years and years. And I would just sit in my room and watch the same Disney movie and all the musicals and everything and just memorize them verbatim. And I could perform, I could still perform a Disney movie start to finish and be every single character Oh my gosh! <laughs> and sing all of the numbers. And I just, I feel like I was honing something when I was like alone in my room, very sick, I was honing something. And that's, I think myself as a performer, like, you know, when you're a singer, you're also sort of an actress and um, that ability to memorize things and have them never leave. I have, you know, thousands and thousands of songs in my head that I just know. And, uh, and so that's when I also knew that this was for me. I just had a good memory for it and a good uh, emotional connection to being able to pro like portray really complex emotion with song and with my face and with, you know, all of those things. It was definitely my path and it always has been. It, it sounds yeah. like you got a great memory on a lot of things and who are some of your favorite Disney characters and also some, um, Disney, Disney movies. Uh, I was really into those princesses big time. Uh, you know, it's gotten me into some trouble as far as just thinking that there's a, that there's a man there out there to save us all, you know? Um, but, uh, definitely Ariel, uh, I loved her. I thought I love it. She did whatever she wanted and she got herself in trouble, but she was just like, shut up, dad, I'm going to the surface. And, you know, I thought she was cool. Uh, she was kind of <laughs> punk rock. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I loved, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to pick. I also like those really old ones. Like I loved Alice in Wonderland and oh, I love, yes, you well, know, well, some of one of our favorites. Oh my God. Yeah. Like Cheshire cat. You had, um, yeah. yeah the that rabbit. felt like a fever Hatter. dream. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it just felt like I was like, this is what my fever feels like all the time. Just <laughs> wandering through the forest and all the weird creatures that come along and they, you know, <laughs> they, they break apart and then they sweep the path and then someone else, make, you know, it's like, what is going on? <laughs> I, I related. I feel like I'm going through a rabbit hole already. And this is great. It's like, I don't want to get out of this rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my we're, we're bouncing around. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and who are some of your favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? Uh, growing up, I, I, when I first started writing songs, it was in the 90s, and I was very much into the very uh, serious, emotional artists like Tori Amos and Fiona Apple. And I got really into Ani DeFranco because I just loved how, um, yeah, she was just so, I loved the stuff that she was singing about and the topics that she was bringing up. I just thought were awesome as like a, as a girl kind of questioning why. I could wear this, but I couldn't wear that. And why I wasn't allowed to shave my head and why, you know, just, I was just like, why do I, why are there so many rules on me? I hate this. And I loved artists that, that looked those things, you know, in the eyes and challenged them. Um, and I also got really into like, uh, I was really into some of the stuff that my dad exposed me to uh, Led Zeppelin, Fish, uh, just really complex stuff that jams, but that's also kind of silly and doesn't take itself super seriously. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I was big into They Might Be Giants growing up. Oh, huge yeah, that was my fan. favorite to my sister's favorite. Yeah, then, what, what, huge I, what, fan. What, what, was, what was that song about um, electricity, relativity? It's like they had one of their songs that was known for, and I think they also play at kids' shows. It's like, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. What they have that? a bunch of kids albums. They've yes. they've they've called like uh, Here Comes Science, Here Comes ABCs, Here Comes One Two Threes, and I love the Here Comes Science one. But I my favorite one was Flood. It came out in 1990, and I just I can yes, still flood, listen to that, that whole one. Okay, I was trying yeah, to what it was. Yes, oh my, yeah. God. So stuff that's just really out there, and that's why it wasn't hard to to join progressive rock band because it is out there. It's some crazy stuff we're doing, and uh, you know even just some of the lengths of the songs, like we have a 28 minute long song about, uh, you know, alien abduction. And it's just, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's fun. It's like, it sort of feels like theater sometimes. I like it. Alien abduction, 28 mm -hmm. minutes. I'm at the yeah. that up. Maybe I'll play it at midnight coast to coast. And I'll just simply say, Hey, George, want to step away for 28 minutes. We'll play alien abduction. Maybe the aliens will come. And I think it's getting close. <laughs> it's called mind scan and it's off of our first album. 
Wow. Okay. It's a journey through space for sure. Wow. Well, speaking of journeys, we'll talk about your uh, amazing career with District 97. We'll talk about some of the music. We'll also talk about some of your music where you ascend, you descend, and a lot more. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first product. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and evil of and endorsed by Howard Celebrities, Clean Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Z, available on Amazon. Don't forget to check out the Mike Wedges show on, on over 30 podcast platforms like Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Also coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, and more. Take, take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise at the Mike Widener Show on Amazon. Check out the podcast. And also for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Me and Molson Zia store. Check out his great books and more. And don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and give generously on the themikewidenershow.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific uh, singer, songwriter, very multi-talented Leslie Hunt on the Mike Widener Show. Talked about how she got started, and uh, which is very amazing, and also semifinalist for American Idol. And um, also get to uh, you being on District 97, which you uh, got your start with. You had a great story. And tell us more about District 97. Okay. Um, we're working on more music now. Uh it's really, really fun when they bring me songs that they start. Uh, it, it sounds like madness. And then it's my job to kind of come up with a through line that people can access through the dense harmonies and the, and the crazy rhythms. And just when you think, you know, you can bob your head to something, it takes you somewhere else and it, it kind of, you know, shakes you awake a little bit. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. But District 97 is a cool band. I'm really honored to be with them and, uh, we're lucky to have one of our band members be also the manager and he's quite tenacious. He makes everybody else look very lazy as far as just being, <laughs> being good at, you know, promoting and putting together tours and keeping, you know, the interest going and keeping our, our algorithms healthy on social media. You know, he's very, very, uh, he's so good at just making this his focus. And we've all been very lucky to be on this journey with him <laughs> um, because I think that district 97 has done so much because of him. If, if I was in charge of it, it probably wouldn't have, it would have been had some lulls and, you know, some periods of, Oh, Hey, look at this, look at this. But you know, he just, he keeps it really steady. And mm. um, yeah. So. That's, that's a good thing too. And how'd you guys come up with the name district 97? Well, the three of the or four of the original members of District 97 all grew up in Oak Park, which oh, wow. and, 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 and that was their school district. OK, District wow. 97 in Oak oh, Park. Oh, that's yeah. amazing because I got some good friends in Oak Park <laughs> and uh, some playing bands over there, too. So I have to make a mention. Hey, what about District 97? You know, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, you also had some um, yeah, albums and also some um, singles as well, too, like Sheep, Takeover, um, Quartet and also Hybrid Child, Trouble with Machines, and a lot more. You also had Live from Chicago. Also, we had a recent release, which is called um, Screenplay featuring Ghost Girl. You can tell about, tell about some of the albums and also tell us about some of the songs. Uh, yeah, so Screenplay is a double album. Uh, it's a live disc, uh, and also it, it, um, it's basically just something. And then it was an excuse for us to kind of compile some of these other uh, live recordings that we've collected over the years and also show um, some other, uh, like we did a, uh, there's a track with Bill Bruford on there oh, and yes. there's, yeah. And, uh, and we had been with John Wetton previously, but I don't think there's any, uh, 
there might be a John Wood. I don't know. I'm not, I should be more familiar with, with what's on that. Cause I, <laughs> I don't know exactly. It, it, it's okay. <laughs> we forgive you. I'm a King Crimson fan. And sometimes we, yeah. forget. it's been a while, but it's okay. Perfectly. Okay. And of course, you know, Bill Burford still loves you. And John's out there. Well, I'm sure he'll still love you no matter what. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, John Witten. Yes, we were, right. su- we were supposed to uh, go on a tour with him right before he got sick and passed away. Mm-hmm. So uh, we had already toured with him a few times, but um, we had all the, all of this music ready to go. Uh, some, you know, some of his solo stuff and some Asia. Uh, and unfortunately we didn't get to see that through. So um, mm. it's really sad that he got sick and, and died so quickly. Um but uh, yeah, so we miss him a lot. And but he was such a good champion of ours. He toured with us, just us five, like you know, mid thirties punks and oh, John wow. Wetton, just John Wetton and us five in a van for like weeks. And it was just like, what a guy! Why is he doing this? It's so nice of him. But it was like he really broadened our audience because you know people couldn't wait to see him. Um, and basically, what we would do is we would perform our set and then he sang on a song called the perfect young man which was written by h or was written about h h holmes from the you know the 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 serial killer in chicago based on the book devil in the white city and his character was the serial killer and mine was the one of his victims basically and he sang on that track and so we would do our set and then he would sing with us on that song and then we would do an entire set of his music and kind of be be his backing band for that, and then I got to sing back backgrounds with him and stuff. It was so much fun. <laughs> it it, it yeah. does sound like fun too. King Crimson's been a pretty much um, a big influence on a lot of people. Working with him, Bill Bruford, Robert Fripp, and I remember the days mm-hmm. of Red and um, in the court. I mean, it's just you look through, it's just like, oh, what an amazing individual and just amazing. definitely well, yes, yeah. And he was such his voice was just sounded better than ever. I mean, it really, it's always been such a strong voice, but you know, sometimes when people get older, their instrument doesn't stay. And I would say his is even better. I mean, his, cause he's, you know, he had gotten sober and was just taking good care of himself and his voice was just, it was, it was flawless. So it was cool. It was very inspiring. That is inspiring. Well, speaking of inspiring, you also got an album that's uh, coming out very soon called Ascend and you're pretty much ascending to ascend. And, um, you know, tell us about Mm -hmm. that. Okay, so yes, I have two EPs coming out this year, like you mentioned, Ascend and Descend. I named the first one Ascend because it was written and recorded before we had any idea that there would be a deadly virus shutting down the entire planet for a year or more. Um, So when I wrote it and recorded it, it seemed like I was on this plane kind of taking off and oh, and who knows? Oh my gosh, we're just going to keep going and going and going. And I had all this stuff I was going to do. And then Oh, and then descend because, hey, we've got a layover and we don't know how long we're going to be on the ground, but we know we're not going to be able to take off for quite some time. So I was hit with inspiration, given that all my gigs had been canceled and I didn't have uh, other music taking over my mind, other stuff I had to learn, other commitments. I was just, oh, I was a clean slate. So I came up with, you know, seven more songs to go wow. on that EP. Um And so, yeah, so 14 songs coming out this year. The first album, Ascend, as you said, comes out two weeks from today, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, I I got signed uh, by uh, Spirit of Unicorn Music and and they're through Cherry Red, which is um, who who, like the label that's that puts out all of John Wett and stuff and a bunch of other, you know, a variety of uh of styles of music are on that album or on that record or on that label. There we go. Hey, <laughs> a variety of a variety of genres are on that label and, uh, and, and, and district 97 is with them as well. And we know that they're a really good group of people and they're, they're in it for the right reasons and they're very supportive. It's a very artist friendly arrangement. And they're, they're like awesome. So I'm so excited to finally have a label behind my solo efforts. I've never had that before. So that's new. Wow. Um, yeah, it feels good to have a team of people that know what they're doing, (laughs) helping me. So I'm not just like, Hey guys, I made an album. Hello. Hello. You know, is this thing on? Yeah. (laughs) Hey, aunt, aunt Sally, you want to hear my record? You know, it just, it's, it it feels more legit. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, so ascend is stylistically, it's surprising how this happened, but the songs themselves 
ended up kind of sounding a bit Americana in some ways and like oh, really? just a bit more like classic rock kind of situation, which was, mm. you know, oh. yeah, kind of different for me. But but it sounds right. It sounds like, you know, the songwriting is kind of rootsy, kind of folky, um, a bit Joni Mitchell inspired. I'm a huge Joni Mitchell fan. And sometimes, you know, I think my influences seep in, but those all the all seven of those songs were written in a very short span of time. And then Descend was all written in a short span of time. And that's like a lot more soulful. So it's like they're not sonically very similar besides like it's my songwriting, it's my voice, it's my lyrics, it's my, you know, probably arrangement style. Same producer, um, but just kind of a two different genres, I would say. So I'm really excited to mm. have, you know, just to see what happens. Uh, mm. I, it's hard for me to pick a style. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you did a lot of this during the pandemic. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, it has. It's, it was interesting. I did tons of vocals in my closet, in my bedroom closet, because it was very dead in there, just kind of singing into all my dresses with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it sounds really good. I mean, it, you wouldn't, you know, with technology these days, you don't need to necessarily do uh, that much in a big studio. I, I recorded the drums and the bass in a studio setting, and then everything else was basically overdubbed, wow. um, you know, and, and sent around, you know. And so we would try a variety of people, and hey, you know, we're thinking we want some funky guitar on this, and you know, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. It does sound like it. And where can we find District 97's music along with uh, Ascend and um, Descend and all your works at? Uh, District97.net is our website. Uh, you can buy any of our CDs directly through us and we will ship them to you. And the same also goes for my music, LeslieHuntMusic.com. And uh, you'll you'll be able to find digital uh anywhere you want of, of, you know, any of the usual places for mine. And then the physical, I think I'm going to just be shipping those out myself. So that's a really good cool. idea. We're looking forward to it. And what's coming up yeah. um, in the future for Leslie Hunt. We'll find out in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com powered by sound web studios. Visit online at sound web studios.com for all he needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener show, international warring author, me and Molson Z of missing available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with a multi-talented Leslie Hunt out of the Windy City after this time. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbeam, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show.
We're back with singer, songwriter, multi-talented Leslie Hunt on the Mike Wagner show of District 97. And um, just an amazing performer we had here. And um, also having a couple albums coming out as well. We talked about that. And of course, you know, speaking of, um, you know, a great future and everything, what can we expect me mean 2021 and beyond, Leslie? Well, um, I would like to just keep this, this paddle boat rowing. I would like to, you know, uh, get the funding together, you know, from all of these releases this year to put back into the machine to put more music out and just kind of keep, keep being creative and keep expressing it's, it's just too much fun and too, uh, too worthwhile. And I, I care so much about these songs and the messages they're in. And I'm really looking forward to how these songs are going to affect people. Um, I think, the second one especially is uh, some very important ideas of um, embracing stillness. I think a lot of the time we get addicted to the hamster wheel that we all think we need to be on every single day. And then Mm -hmm. we all had a break from that more or less. We were all able to cancel all these things we thought we had to do. And then we, um, and then I, I know it was hard for me to get used to that at first. I felt like I was um, being lazy or, you know, um, kind of, you know, condemning myself for, for being too still, but anyway, um, and actually I forgot to mention that a music video for, uh, one of my songs off of Ascend, it's called There You Are, and it came out today. Oh, that's right. And there you are. I just realized. Yeah. Yeah. I totally forgot to mention, I've been like babysitting those those posts that I, you know, trying to promote it all day. And then now (laughs) I, I talk to you and I'm like, Oh, nothing's going on. Just a normal day. But yeah, no, it's a it's an exciting uh, video. It just kind of rocks. It's just a video that rocks. I like it. We certainly yeah. look forward to that, and I'll check it out uh, afterwards. And who do you consider biggest influence in the career, Leslie? In my career, um, I don't know. Uh, I really i appreciate I appreciate an artist that can redefine themselves. I'm I'm a huge Bjork fan. Um, I lost touch with her more recent stuff, but I would say her, um, the passion that she puts into her music and, the um, I, I, yeah, huge, huge work band as far as, but also just her huge belt, I think is, but uh, career wise, I don't know that. Cause that's hard. Cause I don't think my career is modeling anybody that I know of. Cause I, I have two kids. Mm-hmm. I'm not really choosing a life on the road. Um, I'm choosing to, you know, put music out and tour pretty sparingly compared to, you know, other artists that I would say I look, I look up to a lot. And I think that if I was going to hit a certain level with my music, I would need to be on the road a lot more than I'm willing to be. So it's sort of like admitting that you're just going to kind of like wade in the shallow end, Mm -hmm. you know, um, for, for a little while. I mean, maybe I don't have to tour. Who knows? Maybe with this new world, the, the touring life maybe isn't necessarily the only way. But um, but at the moment, I do feel a bit shackled to staying in town uh, while my kids are younger. I have a five-year-old and an 11-year-old. Oh, wow. So that's, that's... I like to. Yeah. <laughs> so they also keep me really busy, too, you know. <laughs> and of course, you can put them <laughs> in their music, too, in their band, District 97. It's like, you know, kids are useful for some things. I got to say that. So Yeah. They are. I, I toured with my son quite a bit when he was an infant. Amazing. So, yeah, he ca- he came to Europe with us. <laughs> <laughs> he's off to a good start. I guess. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. He's got a passport. It's very cute. <laughs> wow, that's something. And, and, and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? At this point, um, I would say, uh, I guess it's kind of cliche, but just don't give up. Just keep just every little decision that you make that that gets you a little bit closer. I look behind me and I see all these little choices that I've made and they mm-hmm. all kind of piled up on up on top of one another and they all amount to something. Every conversation I have, every uh, you know, everything I I say yes to has a has some sort of great return both uh for my soul and for the betterment of what I'm trying to do, which is get people exposed to my music and, mm. and touch people's lives. Mm-hmm. So, 
That is certainly amazing. Once again, singer, songwriter, multi-talented Leslie Hunt, uh, semi-finalist in American Idol, also with District 97, a couple of uh, her releases coming out of Mike Widener's show. Leslie, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to thank having you again you. soon. No problem. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on I 2021 sure and beyond after your dissension and, um, you know, level playing field. You want to send, that's fine. And um, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or check out your music? Yes, my website is lesliehuntmusic.com. You can check me out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of the places. And then District 97 is district97.net. And we are also all over the web. Um, yeah, and then I have, and then dis, and then my EP comes out in two weeks. So We're certainly looking forward to it. Once again, Leslie, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, thank keep you. us up to date and love that you back on 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. Thanks. Likewise. It was such a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.